Good morning, everybody. I'm out here with Thor again, and Thor's got himself on the instruments right now. And how's it feeling, buddy? It's feeling tough. But <laughs> it's feeling tough. It's getting a little bit better every <laughs> time I do it. But <laughs> it's, this stuff is hard. Yeah, exactly. So he's doing well. I've got him uh, flying um, 80 knots, 1,000 feet, 050 degrees. And he's just working on all those numbers. He's very close on everything. Just trying to work on it. Been pretty rainy the last little while here. We've got some pretty good ceilings this morning. Um, I'd say we've got about 5,000 foot ceilings, but we've had quite a bit of rain. This last Sunday, we did a triathlon. Most of uh, most of us at the hangar, the whole team, our family, um, did the, did a, a sprint triathlon. So not a full one. Um, so just sprint distance. And uh, it was fun, it was really good. Sam wasn't able to make it, unfortunately. Uh, we razzed him pretty hard, but uh, but he was really sick. Uh, sore throat and achy and everything, and we're just like, dude, you gotta make it. He's like, I can't make it. <laughs> so next year, next year he'll be there. But um, but anyways, I'm feeling a little bit my throat now, actually. I don't have a sore throat or anything, but I can definitely, uh, you can hear in my, in my voice. Uh, it was absolutely pouring rain the entire time, so that was fun. If I can uh, find a few clips, I'll, I'll show them to you guys. Um, so we're just out for a variety of exercises this the morning. Uh, one of them is instrument flying. And so, yeah, we're just trying to keep those numbers. Uh, 80 knots, 1,000 feet, 050. I'll just do a quick radio call. Two mass traffic helicopter, uh, uniform Echo Tango, is just passing the greenhouses at 1,000 feet, and we're headed northeastbound. All right, excellent. So just a little extra height, because we got all that rain on the bubble. That's yeah. nice. And now as you get close to the water, bring the nose up. Nose up, there you go. That way, because again, when you get close to the water, we lose our reference, right? Yeah. That's looking good. Oh, this light just came on here. Main rotor gearbox light. Right. All right, so what we're doing, guys, is we're simulating an emergency here. 
Um, so Thor is aborting his takeoff. He's bringing it back in. He's finding the safest spot that he can uh, to land. Hey, check out. There's a seal right there. You see it? Oh, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> River seal. Um, so he's aborting. He's finding a safe landing spot here. And kind of as quickly and safely as he can, he's getting it back down on the ground. When you have a main rotor gearbox light come on, uh, you don't want to enter auto rotation. It's absolutely imperative that you don't enter auto rotation. So you can see he's keeping his uh, torque there around 40%. So that's really nice and safe. And then um, he's just taking a little bit of extra time here because we don't have really awesome reference on this sandbar. So he's just trying to find some nice reference with the little sticks and that sort of thing. There's kind of a black spot over there, so that's nice. And uh, just taking his time for the final touchdown. But now he's close to the ground, so he knows he's safe. And then we'll just get it onto the ground nice and safely here. So that's considered a aborted takeoff. Nice, he's gonna do a good seating check. The ground's a bit soft here. It's actually feeling pretty solid now. Yeah. So that's really good. All right, excellent. <laughs> Maybe this time we can actually depart. <laughs> I've given him like three or four of these. Uh, on the last one, we can go ahead and uh, take off. On okay. the last one, we actually ended up with a real emergency, technically. Uh, we had a CO light come on. So we were doing a little bit of downwind hovering and uh, the exhaust from the exhaust pipe in the back must have come in through the, the vents on the side here. And so we actually ended up getting a little carbon monoxide in the cabin. So basically for something like that, again, abort your takeoff, uh, which funny enough, we were already aborting the takeoff a little bit higher there. Yeah. Uh, because I was simulating that he had a main rotor gearbox light. So that was good, we were already on approach. And um, nice, bring the nose up now. Just so that you know that you got a good, healthy distance from that ground. That's good. And um, so then we just opened up all the vents, got into a hover, hovered around a bit into wind, and uh, everything cleared out and it was fine now. So we can continue on with our flight. But yeah, that's always fun. Um, cool, we're going to head out this way here, and we're going to climb it out to 1,000. We're going to do some of those uh, deceleration 180 turns. Okay. That's nice. Uh, Claire is last. Her last call was kind of coming by Chilliwack Mountain. She was northeast bound, so we'll keep an eye out for her as well. I don't see. Maybe I throw in a radio call. Yeah, let's throw in a quick radio call. Fraser River traffic. This is helicopter call. From Enco Tanko. Tanko. It is. Climbing up to 1,000 feet, just over the sand dunes next to Killywood Mountain. All right, cool. That's good. We'll keep that climb going. Engine failure. So collect it down, down, down. There you go. Get that RPM back in the green. Hold your 50 knots. There you go, you got a good spot to go to. Hold your 50 knots. Don't slow down too much. Nice. Getting ready, flaring now. Throttle's coming back on. And out you come. Beautiful, all the way smooth into a nice hover. Keep the power up, keep the nose straight, nose straight, nose straight. There you go. That was fun. That was good. <laughs> Very cool. So that was a little bit of a lower one, right? Um, you have to react nice and quick on those. We were about 600 feet on that one, uh, but that was good. Make sure you get the collective initially all the way down. Um, once it's down, then we can decide if we want to raise it up a little bit again, because you kind of you brought it pretty much all the way down, but then it left it up just slightly because you were worried about it overspeeding. Yeah. But then it actually ended up a little bit on the low side. Um, so we just want to be mindful that we don't get it too low. Ideally, all the way down initially, then bring it up if you need to. So that's okay. good. And then also when you're low like that, just make sure we're right away grabbing speed. If we don't have our 50 knots, we did in that in that case, we had our 50. And that's one of the nice reasons for on our climb out to be maintaining at least 50 knots, right? Um, if we're doing a, a climb out at 30 knots, we got to really dive to try and get that speed back for the auto rotation, right? Whereas as you saw in that one, we're climbing out at more like 50. We had to hardly change the speed at all once we entered that auto. And it was, yeah. it was actually nice. We didn't feel like we had a crazy steep, fast descent rate or anything. It felt pretty stable, so that was good. Okie dokie, let's get ourselves out of here. We'll check for traffic and off we go. Right. Lights are out, Kate is in the green. 
Copy, this is an auto switch is off, we have enough fuel. Just gonna do a pedal turn here, look behind me. Good, excellent, you checked your tail on the right. Yep. It's looking pretty clear in behind. Yep. Except for the clouds. Yep. Well, nice. there you go. All right, guys, that was fun. It's kind of uh, rainy and gross here now. Not too good, but uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, share it with somebody, give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, all those good things. Um, thanks for being part of the uh, the BC Helicopters family. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. See ya.